Hi, and welcome to Godly Play. Come on and join the circle. It's wonderful to have you with us today. And I wonder who you brought with you. Maybe your cat or your dog or your bird. <laughs> Everyone's welcome to come into the circle. Let's take a minute and just get ready. Get ready with our bodies and with our hearts. Well, here we are at the beginning of the church year in the season of Advent, season of the color blue. The church knew that Christmas was such a great mystery that they set aside four Sundays before Christmas to help us get ready for the mystery of Christmas. So we're in the season of Advent and we're moving the calendar to the third Sunday in the season of Advent. Getting close to the mystery. So, there was once someone who said such wonderful things and did such amazing things that people began to follow him. And as they followed him, they wondered who he was. They couldn't help themselves, they just had to ask. And one of the times when they asked him, he said, I am the light. Let's enjoy the light. I see the love of God in you. The light of Christ comes shining through, and I am blessed to be with you, O holy child of God. And this light didn't stay in that one place, and in that one time so long ago, because he changed the light so it could be in all places and in all times so it could be with us today. Watch as I change the light. Oh, there it's thinning out, starting to come up. It's filling the room. It's filling the godly place circle where I am and where you are. And wherever we are in the godly place circle today, this light will be with us. And when we leave the circle, the light will go with us too. So you ready for a story? Now is the time for the color blue. Royal blue is the color of kings and queens. Blue is also the color of Mary, the Mother Mary. It's a serious color, royal blue, and something serious is about to happen. A king is coming, but not the kind of king that people were expecting. This king had no great army, didn't have a huge palace, and lots of riches. This king was a baby born in a barn. The king that was coming is still coming. This is full of mystery. And sometimes it's hard to get inside a mystery. Sometimes people can walk right through it and not even see it. During the time of the color blue, we're going together on the road to Bethlehem. We're all taking the journey. We are all getting ready for the mystery of Christmas. So let's go with the prophets, the holy family, the shepherds, and the magi to s on this journey that was back then and still is. So on the first Sunday in Advent, we remember the prophets pointing the way to Bethlehem. Prophets 
are people who come close to God and God comes close to them and they know what is most important. And what the prophets knew was that something incredible was going to happen in Bethlehem. They didn't know what it was, but they knew this was the place. Stop! Watch! Pay attention! Something incredible is going to happen here. On the second Sunday in Advent, we remember the Holy Family on the long and winding road to Bethlehem to be counted by the Roman soldiers. Here's the Mother Mary and the Father Joseph on the road. And Mary was about to have a baby. And when you're about to have a baby, it's very hard to walk all that way. So sometimes she got on a donkey and rode. <laughs> but when you're about to have a baby, sometimes it's very hard to ride on a donkey. So some of the times she got down and walked. They must be, might, must have been one of the last people on the road to Bethlehem that night. And on the third Sunday in Advent, we remember the shepherds. Out in the dark fields, watching their sheep. There were lots of shepherds, but there's one that will remind us. And there were lots and lots of sheep. But here's a few to help us remember. Now the shepherds were trying to keep awake to make sure that the wolves didn't get at the sheep. And suddenly there was a bright light that filled the whole sky, so bright that it hurt their eyes. And they were afraid. And their hearts began to beat in their chests so loud that they could hardly hear. And then when their hearts started to return to normal, they heard singing. And they were afraid again. And an angel said, do not be afraid. <laughs> Angels often say that because it can be pretty scary when you're met with a messenger from God. The angel said, do not be afraid. I bring good tidings of great joy for all the people. We, I bring you peace on earth and good will to everyone. Hurry, run, go to Bethlehem and see the child who will change everything. Here's the candle of the prophets, of the Holy Family. Oh, and here's the, prof the candle of the shepherds. It's the color of roses. Now, Rose is also a color for the Mother Mary, and without the Mother Mary, we wouldn't have any baby. The color rose reminds us of the joy that the angels sang of. It also helps us remember that as we are getting ready during this very serious time to get ready for the mystery of Christmas, it is also a time for joy, and this is the week when we can become part of a great celebration. So this is the light of the prophets. Of the Holy Family. And the shepherds. And these lights didn't stay in that one place so long ago either. 
they didn't stay in that one flame. All this was changed. So the light of the prophets. The light of the holy family. And the light of the shepherds. Could be there then and with us now and always. And now for the blessing. May the light of the prophets, of the Holy Family, and of the shepherds be with you and your family as you journey towards Bethlehem this week in the journey that was then and still is. See you next week.